Welcome to this crash course in the Italian wine region of Trentino Alto Adige. You're going to learn exactly what makes Trentino Alto Adige a unique wine producing region, what types of wines are out there, and where you should begin your journey in tasting these wines. I'm Tony Marchiata, I'm a wine importer and author of Hidden Gems of Italy. My life's mission is to support and look for world-class artisanal wines handcrafted in small batches from Italy, many of which have been overlooked and undervalued. My family is from a small village in the Molise region of southern Italy, and I've been traveling to Italy over 20 years, immersing myself in Italian wine, food, and culture. So where is this Trentino Alto Adige? Well, it's in northern Italy, and it shares its borders with the Italian regions of Veneto and Lombardia, and it also shares its borders with Austria and Switzerland, which makes it a very, very uh, unique location. Uh, the first settlers in the Alto Adige region were the Ration people, a group of tribes originating from the Alpine mountains. Uh, notice the Alps in the backdrop of, of this picture. And there was evidence of winemaking back in that time because they discovered prehistoric grape seeds found in the region dating back to 500 BC. And like all tribes on the Italian peninsula, the Ration people eventually fell to the Romans. So between the prehistoric tradition of grape cultivating and the winemaking techniques of the Romans, the first golden age of winemaking happened in this region about 2000 years ago and has continued since then. Throughout the centuries, the region has been ruled by too many to name, but some of you might know of, including the Roman Empire, Napoleon, and the Austrian Empire, until the region was transferred back to Italy at the end of World War I. So here's a map of Trentino Alto Adige. You'll notice that it's, it's actually, there's two regions combined. You have um, the Alto Adige part, which is the northern part of the region in orange. It's also known by its English name called South Tyrol or Sud Tyrol in German. Each region has their own capital. Trento is the capital of Trentino and Bolzano is the capital in the Alto Adige part. Now, uh, Trentino, as you can see, is the southern part in green. Uh, both German and Italian are official languages in this region because of its Austrian influences in the north and, of course, its Italian influences in the south part. Generally speaking, Trentino is the Italian-speaking part and German in the Alto Adige part, but ironically, the majority language in the capital of Alto Adige, in Bolzano, uh, or Bozen in German, uh, the majority language in that capital is Italian very ironic. Um, but the rest of Alto Adige is majority German speaking. Of course, uh, the majority of people speak both languages. And because of this unique uh, location, there is a, this political movement going on in a uh, part of Sud Tyrol or Alto Adige that would like to be part of Austria and not Italy, which is interesting. But they, they overall, they coexist peacefully as demonstrated on their bottles of wine, because you will see both German and Italian written on their wine labels. So the region is also very mountainous. It's known for having the Dolomites, which are the mountain tops that are shaped like sawtooths and made of limestone, uh, part of the Alps, of course. Um, and then there's also these breathtaking lakes and valleys. It's a beautiful place. If you love wine and you love the mountainous lifestyle, Trentino Alto Adige is the place for you. And so how should you think about wines from this region? Of course, they have their own native grape varietals and they also have their own unique appellations. Let's take a look at some of the Trentino Alto Adige grapes. You'll notice here on the list, of course, I have my typical whites column and reds column, but I'm actually designating to you uh, which part of Trentino Alto Adige uh, the wines come from. Notice on the whites, uh, the most important white varietal is Noziola, which comes from Trentino, and that's a truly unique varietal. And then in the Alto Adige part, you'll find lots of Moscato Giallo. Um, you, know, you can find Moscato throughout Italy, but you'll find 
uh, both dry and sweet versions in the Alto Adige part. Now in the reds, I gave you two different reds from the Alto Adige section, uh, um, the Lagrain, which is probably the most important, as well as Schiava. And then in the Trentino section of the, of the region, there are two important red varietals, Terrodego Rotaliano uh, from the Trentino part and Marzemino from Trentino. Uh, historically and currently, this region is more known for being a white wine producer, and that's evolving very quickly, as you can see here. Um, I actually have more reds listed than whites. Uh, you'll find the crews of Marzemino in the Trentino part of the region. Uh, in theory, the white grape list should be longer since it's more of a white wine producing region, but it's really Pinot Grigio, what, which is taken very, very seriously in the region and actually makes some very, very fine wines of Pinot Grigio in that region. That's really why the white wine production is so high, so much higher than the, the red wine production. Also Pinot Bianco, another French varietal, that might be the best in the world coming out of this region. And of course, I always recommend that you, when you're exploring these varietals, try to find a small producer that makes uh, these uh, varietals in small batches, 50,000 bottles a year or less in the Alto Adige uh, Trentino region uh, should be fairly easy to find. And while there's no DOCGs in the region, there are nine different DOCs, uh, a fairly small number compared to other Italian regions, but but you know, given that the region is extremely mountainous, there's not a lot of space uh, uh, to, you know, to plant vineyards, which makes perfect sense. Uh, but throughout Europe, this is a very, very well-respected wine region, even though it's probably a little bit lesser known in the United States markets. Here's some of the important appellations that you should check out. For a white wine uh, is the Noziola Trentino DOC. The Alto Adige Sutirol uh, DOC is, um, you can find both red and white. Um, for the red side, you'll find the Lagrain wines, which are delicious. And then on the whites, you'll find Moscato uh, wines coming from this appellation. Then there is Lago di Caldaro DOC. Those are uh, wines made with the Schiava red varietal from Alto Adige. And then the last one uh, is probably the most niche of all of the wines in the region, and that's called Teroldego Rotaliano DOC. Very, very small, small appellation in the Trentino area. So which, which is the first white wine you should try from the region? Hands down, the Noziola Trentino DOC. And then for the first red wine, you definitely need to pick up a bottle of Lagrain. La Alto Adige DOC. Uh, you'll almost always be happy with a bottle of Lagrine. I know I am. And that's it for Trentino Alto Adige. Make sure you subscribe to Gladiator Wine TV so you don't miss out on new videos about artisanal Italian wines and much more. And remember, great wines are not made in great numbers.